Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and this week's video is a little bit different. Today I want to talk about what I think has become one of my most frequently asked questions, both from my close friends and from other people I've interacted with online. How do you stay so positive all the time? So before we start, I want to give you guys a little heads up. We are going to cover some kind of sensitive stuff, but I promise it ends on a positive note. So anyways, whenever I get asked, how are you so positive all the time? I never fully know how to answer that question. And it's especially hard for me to go in depth on this subject when replying to people in text messages or in chat rooms. And even when I'm writing this video out, there's really no clear place to start. I guess the easiest way to start this is by saying, I'm, I'm not positive 100% of the time. And that's okay. Nobody should be positive and upbeat 24 seven. I'm already like that all the time around my girlfriend and I have no idea how I don't drive her crazy. But anyway, when you guys see me here on video, that is me at 150%. I am in my element. Fursuiting is one of my absolute favorite things to do and whenever I get to share stories or information with you guys, I feel like I'm on top of the world. But then there are other days where things are a little more difficult. Sometimes my girlfriend has to remind me to make sure that I'm eating and drinking water and taking care of myself. Sometimes the world feels really heavy, even if I can just talk to friends on the internet and there's a whole fandom out there to make you feel a little less alone. And on some days, it's just plain hard to get out of bed. And on those days, it's so helpful to have things that are important to me. I want to build a good life for myself and the people that are close to me. I want to entertain people for a living, whether that's with music or on video or whatever, and I'm not going to let myself get in the way of those things. Will it be a struggle? Yes. Is it going to be painful? Sometimes. But am I going to let my pain take away the things that fulfill me? Never. I know it sounds cliche, but Surrounding yourself with people that encourage you and challenge you to improve is so important. And that's why I love my friends in the furry community that make things like videos and art and physical crafts. It's why I love reading comments, especially when you're sharing personal things from your stories and tidbits from your lives. Like I know every YouTuber and artist even loves to see comments on their works, but it holds a special place in my heart when people let me know that I can improve their day. Because when I was younger, I was incredibly shy and oftentimes upset about things. So to feel better, I would go on websites like Newgrounds and look at flash games and animations and eventually I would look at YouTube videos. And having just this endless stream of wild and creative stuff that I could connect with and relate to really gave me hope. And it made me feel a little less isolated on my darker days. So the idea that anything that I could make could maybe brighten up the day of someone who feels the same way that I felt when I was younger is a real source of hope for me. When I got into college, I, I actually got a therapist and that's helped me so much over the years. And I'm actually seeing another professional the day this video goes up to see if there's anything else I can do to continue to improve on these issues that I'm still working on. Because feeling good, it's a process. And it's taken a long time for me to get where I am today emotionally. But having those online communities to interact with was so important in the times when I felt quiet or isolated at home or at school. So how do I stay positive all the time? I guess there's no short answer to that, but I hope this video helped you guys get a glimpse into why I feel the way that I do. Because when you guys see me on camera or at a furry meetup or at a convention, I'm actually that stoked to be interacting with people, whether it's online or in real life. And I just want you guys to know that it's okay to have bad days. The last thing I want to talk about today is something that I turn to a lot anytime I'm feeling overwhelmed. It actually came from one of my favorite stand-up comedians, Patton Oswalt. His late wife, Michelle, had this phrase that she always said, it's chaos, be kind. It basically means that when the world looks terrible or if life looks scary, to remember that if you want to experience the greatest parts of life and humanity, all you have to do is go out and be nice to another person. Be nice to a family member, be nice to a loved one. Remind people that you care and that you appreciate them. And it's an amazing feeling when you know that you've done some good in this world. So thank you all very much for listening to this week's First Suit Friday video. I know it's different from my usual stuff, but I hope this anecdote was helpful. I also want to thank these amazing supporters on Patreon for producing today's video. 
and I want to thank these patrons for sponsoring today's video. Without their help, this channel could not exist the way it does, and I can't express how thankful I am for each and every one of them. Well, that's all I got for you guys today, so thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.